Hey guys, Danielle here. Um, I'm here in my home office here in Flushing, New York. And, um, you know, I just made a Facebook post. I just wanted to connect with you guys really quickly about your passion. Um, as I, you know, I was just here sitting in my office and, you know, it's every day, well, especially since the kids have been home, it's like my day is starting a little later than usual. Usually I get up about five in the morning, but lately I haven't been getting up until about 10 or whatever. But, um, hi, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. You're a guy. Wow. Um, yeah, I want to know what you guys, do you guys feel like you have a purpose in life? Does anybody here feel like they have a purpose? Like you were, you were put here on this earth for a purpose? Like, do you have like a, um, a mission, a, um, something that is so near and dear to your heart that you feel that you have to accomplish it? Does anybody here, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, something that is, um, like a burning, um, desire, a burning feeling inside of you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you know, this is, okay, come here, you know, um, soccer player. All right. Um, yeah, but you know, like, um, I think a lot of us, we probably don't realize that we have a purpose, mm -hmm. that we're here for a, for a reason. And you know, I just put up a Facebook post because, you know, I'm, I pride myself on personal development. And it's like when I get into my space, when I'm, you know, I do my meditation and then I, I read and then I, I listen and um, I journal and then things just start to come to me. And, um, you know, so when things come to me and when I learn something, I feel like, you know, I just have to, um, of course, teach it and I have to share it, right? It's really not nothing that I need to teach, but to share. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today about your purpose and, and your mission here on earth, right? And it's like, you know, like, like they say that there's Mars, Martians on Mars, right? They have their mission. And I believe that we're here on Earth for a mission, you know, and it's more or less not a mission for ourselves, but a mission to, um, to touch other people, right? We're here to, to do something that is selfless, to help us grow spiritually, emotionally, physically, and financially. I think when we stop thinking so much about ourselves, and we delve into why we are really here. Um, I was reading this book. I don't know if you got ever read this book. It's called Secrets. Secrets by Deepak Chopra. It's called Secrets. And um, he talks about, you know, I've read it before. I, I've read it quite a few times. But I like to reread books. Um, and I read multiple books at once. I don't just stay with one book. I read that. I'm, I'm reading The Science of the Mind. I read different kinds of books. But um he talks about cells, right? He talks about how cells work interdependently. They all work together. So, you know, even though the cells perform a different function, they all work together. And no cell is, no cell is selfish. No cell holds back anything that they're supposed to do. For instance, if a kidney cell, what is this, what is, what is the function of the kidney cell? It's to, um, it's to help to excrete urine and to help filter out things, right? So that's what the cells, they work hard to do that. But also we have like the liver cells, we have brain cells, but they all work together. The brain cells help to tell the kidney cells that things need to be excreted, right? They all work together interdependently. So, um, in the book, he basically, um, he compares um, our interaction as as humans to cells because we all are living being cells, just like the cells inside of our body. They're more microscopic, you know, but on the grander scale of things, we are microscopic, right? To the universe, we are microscopic beings. So um, when you think about that and you think about how we interact with each other, whether it's good, not so good, pleasant, do you walk by people and really don't say anything to them? Um, do you avoid eye contact? You know, and of course you, you we want to even go into more things about the wars and the racism. And, you know, I saw something about burning churches, you know, those kind of interactions. So what kind of inter, when you have those kind of interactions, you create a disruption right just like in your body so if you have if you are overfeeding the body if you're underfeeding the body if you are um, um, permeating the body with with uh, nervousness and doubt and fear so it's the same kind of thing so it, it's crazy when you kind of um, when you compare a cell 
to the actual being, right? If you do these things to yourselves, you overfeed it, what happens? You'd be overweight, you obesity, high blood pressure, um, um, diabetes, all those things come into play, right? And that's a disruption of the body. That means, that's why they call it a dis-ease. There's something that is, is not easy in the body anymore. It's a discomfort. Um, so things are not working interdependently together there there's a disruption there so the same thing happens when we when we uh talk and we we um we communicate and we mingle with other people if we're not doing it in a in a in a spirit of love and and compromise and harmony then what happens there becomes disharmony and discord just like we have dis-ease in the body so you know uh, I titled this what's your purpose because I feel that if we came from more of a place of purpose as a plate instead of a place of selfishness a place of greed a place of you know just thinking about you know jealousy those if we came more from a place of love which is where our cells come from because they love us our little cells inside of our body they love us so much that they want everything to work perfectly inside of us if we also came from that same perspective when dealing with other people what do you think would happen in the world what do you think what kind of ripple effect do you think we could we could uh, manifest what kind of change could happen what kind of world would we live in it would definitely be a better world than where we're living in right now right but the beauty about this is that you have the power to change your own world you have the power to to um, create that harmony in your world if you want it to. So, you know, and it doesn't take money. It doesn't take, you know, years of education. It just takes coming from a place of selflessness and love, right? Just like when you have a relationship, every relationship is important. You may not think so. When you get on the bus to go to work or whatever, that relationship with the bus driver is important because, you know, if he's in a bad mood, then what, what could happen to the bus? So you get on the bus, you say, good morning, good afternoon. Um, you know, these are the things that I feel is important as we uh, continue in this in this world, as we continue to get along with other people, um, you know, the relationship with your children, you know, sometimes I know us as parents, we, we tend to think that we are we are uh, superior to our kids. Right. But I'm here to say today that I don't treat my children like that. I don't treat that I'm superior to them at all. If anything, my children teaches me a lot of things. They teach me, um, you know, they keep me on my toes. And, and if something that I do or say is not accurate they definitely let me know which i love about that you know because when i was growing up that wasn't the case i couldn't talk about anything like you know kids were supposed to be seen but not heard so you know um and i think that when you when you tend to listen to your children and you give them an opportunity to be who they are and let them know that they have a voice and you know and when and when you teach them things about harmony, which is what I teach them, you know, about speaking, um, speaking nice to each other and being considerate and things like that. So let's say if I'm not being considerate for some reason, they say, oh, mommy, you the one who taught us. I'm like, oh, you're right. <laughs> you know, you're right. Practice what you preach. Right. I don't believe in just do as I say, but not as I do. So, you know, I try to model that in front of my kids as well as. Um, teaching them the, the importance of that so that they can in turn teach that and live that kind of life also. But I'm just, you know, I just wanted to touch base with you to let you think about what is your purpose? We all have a purpose here. We all were put here for a reason. And one of those purposes is to live in love, live from a place of love, live from a place of charity, live from a place of, of, of encouragement and inspiration, motivation and empowerment so that we can touch other people's lives so that once we, as many people, as we touch many lives, then this world can be changed for the better. Because once we realize how powerful we are and how much we have and that all the things that we can do to, to teach others and to help others, right? We're here to help. We're not just here to hinder and, and tear down. We're here to help. So, you know, I just want you to focus on your, your purpose. Ask what your purpose is. Sometimes you have to sit quietly. Sometimes you have to sit quietly in a quiet space and ask, what is my purpose? Who am I? Why am I here? Who am I here to touch? 
right? And then those answers will come to you. They may not come to you right away, but eventually those answers will come. You'll start to step into your purpose. You'll start to step into your power. You'll start to step into who you were here to become and who you were here to be. And you'll start meeting the people that you that you were put here to meet and to touch. So I don't know how many people are on here today. It does, you know, it's it's all good. I love coming on Periscope because it's live. And whoever I don't reach on Periscope, guess what? I can put this on my Facebook. I can put this on my YouTube channel. And I can upload this because um, you know, that's that's my mission. I'm a I'm a no, I'm a mompreneur on a mission, and I'm here to help moms all around the world mm -hmm. learn that they can reach emotional, physical, financial, and spiritual freedom. If they allow themselves to be free. All right, this has been Danielle K. Howell. You can connect with me. I'm on Facebook, Danielle K. Howell 1. And I will be, you know, I just love to connect with new, new people. Every day I'm connecting with new people. And, um, you know, I will. you will see my journey as I as I continue to put my journey of freedom on my Facebook, on my blog, um, you know, on my YouTube channel, because I believe that life is about freedom. And once you learn to become free, you can help others do the same. So this has been Danielle K. Howell. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for everything. Thanks for chiming in. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.